Welcome to Behind the Garage Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing chicken fajitas and steak fajitas. We're going to get ourselves a simple fajita season we're going to put together right now. We're going to use one tablespoon of chili powder, tablespoon of smoked paprika, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of Mexican oregano. Mexican oregano is a little bit more like citrusy than a regular oregano. A half Actually, one teaspoon of sea salt, fine. We're gonna be using some crushed black pepper. A teaspoon of chicken bouillon. I'm gonna give it a dash of Suckle Buster's Texas Gun Powder, which is like a jalapeno powder. It's real good stuff. Just gonna dump everything into a bowl. Give it a little shake. And that's what you're looking at right there. We'll be back in a few. We're gonna get a chicken marinade going. We're See you back here. That marinade going for our chicken fajitas. I'm gonna start off with use a half a cup of canola oil. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. We use about eight ounces, roughly, of a Mexican beer. Or what kind of beer you want? We use a Corona. We're going to use juice from two limes. I'm going to use a quarter cup of the fajita season that we just made. And now we're going to whisk. Let me grab our chicken thighs out of the fridge. They were already cleaned, cut up, they're also they're boneless. I was just pour on marinade over. Give that a little mix. Alright, we're gonna cover that. It's gonna go back in the fridge. Look at that, probably about, about two hours at least. You can go a little bit longer if you like to. The longer the better. We'll be back. Let's make this fajita marinade for our steak. I'm gonna get two limes once again.
this off to the side. I'm gonna third a cup of water. About two tablespoons of olive oil. Four cloves of garlic, so garlic that we already chopped up. A couple teaspoons of soy sauce, but we're using this here. This is a soy sauce alternative. It's pretty good stuff. Now we're gonna bring Jose to the party. Give me a little splash of that. All going in. About two ounces of tequila. A little whack of cayenne pepper. Some fresh cracked black pepper. Whisk it up. It's kind of like a tequila thing marinade. Let me grab our steak. Alright, we're using sirloin tips. Shoot me, we should be using flank steak. This is what I want to use, this is what we're using. You can use whatever you want to use. Put that all in there. I'm gonna cover this up, it's going back into the fridge. Couple hours. Next time we come out, we'll be skewering up and we're gonna hit it out to the grill. Back in a few. Let's get these fajitas going. We can adjust the speed if we need to. Start getting flare ups. I had to throw some extra lump on there. It's like the worst bag of BM that I've gotten so far, and I can throw these. Over a dozen bags. This one's a lot of little pieces in it. So we're gonna be feeding this one constantly, I guarantee. Look at that steak going on now. The steak, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of a uh, fajita rub. And we're gonna layer with a little bit of a San Maria style rub that I've been messing with now for a little while. And if you will be able to figure out the hot spots Obviously, we have to lower down. We're gonna put the bigger meat down the bottom of here, but get up in there. We'll be back in a few. Now we're right back. Let's move them around a little bit. We're gonna move the steak down the bottom a little bit. Just take it out, pop it in, let it go. Let me this one up and that one down too. As I said, we can adjust the speed too if we need to. We can go a lot, a lot faster on this. Bring it all the way slow, we can stop it. 
Looking pretty good so far. We'll be back in a few. All right, we're back. It's time to get somewhere now. Spread the coals out a little bit evenly. Sound look good. Coming along. A little straggle there at the end. Let it go a little longer and we'll be back. All right, we're back. We got the rain coming down now. We're getting pretty close to done. I'll show you a couple things on this here. If you just want to start chowering up a little bit, you just take them off here and rest them. You can even take them if you don't want to here. Put it up top and rest them up top. As long as it's spinning, you're not gonna get any flare ups. If you're not spinning, that's when you get flare ups on these. So, you know, if you're going, it's going too slow, if you're getting flare ups, you're going too slow. Increase the speed of the motor a little bit, you'll be fine. Just gonna rotate them. You go left to right, up, down, wherever you want. Working pretty good here. Yeah? The steak is pretty much done. Rest them up top. You can even take them. And if you want to get them real charred, just take them off, drop them down the bottom. Rest them down there for a few. Just keep your eye on them. Turn them around once in a while. But when you stop and that's when you're charring. You can pretty much just keep running it the whole time. If you have a party or something, you can just do them, put them up top. It keeps them warm up top. Obviously, pot it down the bottom, but. Looking pretty good. We're gonna be wrapping it up, be back inside, we'll be playing up in a few. We're finished. We got our fajita chicken and our fajita steak. It came out perfect. Cooking them up on the skewer, spinning them. Thanks for watching.